Well, you definitely want to be playing your best at this time of year, so it's been good to get a little momentum um, and been happy to see us um, playing a little bit better, uh, more consistently um, and more complete games and um, able to put together a little bit of a win streak right now. But, um, you know, going into that last weekend, um, you know, hopefully we can continue to build on that and just keep playing playing good basketball and play two of the, two of the top teams in the North uh, Division this weekend. It'll be two really difficult games. Um, but it's always nice to to kind of have your team feeling good about themselves and uh, playing with confidence as you approach towards the end of the season. Can you give a comparison between uh, David this year and uh, Tyler last year as having like that leading force, I guess, going into the tournament? Well, you know, it's just kind of, um, you know, David's been playing pretty well as of late. I thought, um, you know, this past weekend he – uh, both games did not have a great first half, but both games he had a, he had a good second half. Um, and him and I kind of talked about that. Just it's good to see him not play a, a very good game on Friday and still end up with a double double. Um, I think mentally his approach has continued to get better um, and continue to try to stick to it, even if he's not playing the best, and can tr- continue to find positive ways to impact the game and to make uh, winning basketball plays. Um, and then Saturday, a uh, tough first half, and then a really big second half was a big reason why we, we were able to win that game uh, on the road at Bemidji State. So I think the biggest difference is um, from him from last year to this year is just his um, ability, you know, his mental approach to the game and ability to be a little bit more consistent. Um, and it's nice to have him playing some of his best basketball right now too. Um, you know, and, and really as our one senior that's playing uh, significant minutes for us. Um, you know, I'd love to see him finish finish out his career strong and finish out his career playing his best basketball. And so hopefully he can c- kind of continue to take steps forward. I won't be at home this weekend. Uh, and then how important is it to try to hold on and get that five seed? Does that mean a lot to you? Or well, I don't really know where we're at, to be honest. Um, <laughs> So I don't know if that's what we can get, then that's what we can get. It has no bearing to me whatsoever. Um, you know, it doesn't mean anything. It just it doesn't mean anything at all. It's just a number next to you, then you go play somebody, and you have to win that game anyway. So, um, we'll, you know, I don't know what that is. Um, I know we play um, two games this weekend against Northern State and, and Minnesota State Moorhead, who are really good. Um, so just trying to figure out how to be – I know, it, again, I say this every week, but it sounds cliche, but trying to – have a good practice today um, and have a good practice uh, leading up to those two games and then we'll we'll figure out where we're at after those games and and start preparing for that first round um, Wednesday Wednesday tournament game when we figure out where we're going and who we're playing um, I do know that we're that we have to go on the road uh, for that um, so we'll worry about that after after Saturday night and try to put together a game plan for that uh, but the biggest thing is just kind of trying to keep momentum going forward and play good basketball this time of year. Um, you know, like like I said, I don't doesn't really necessarily matter who we play or where we play them or what number we are or whatever. Um, we're in a situation now where we have to uh, play well this weekend, and then when we get to Wednesday next week, we've got to win that game to keep playing more basketball. Um, so just um, trying to make sure we put ourselves in the best position we can to win that game. Matt, at the... At the risk of saying something every week once again, considering the seed doesn't really matter to you, can you talk about what about your team uh, makes you uh, a tough out, so to speak, at the tournament? Yeah, I just think we're I just think we're continuing to grow as a team. I think we're a lot better uh, than we were early in the year. I think we've got a lot of our guys are more comfortable in their role and playing their role better. Um, I think we're a lot better team defensively than we were early on, and a lot more consistent team offensively. Our execution has been better. Uh, guys um, continuing to trust each other and uh, continuing to, to run offense uh, until we get a great shot has been a lot better. So um, I think um, th- those things make us a dangerous team um, and a team that can can make some uh, noise during the tournament. I, th- I just really think it's a very balanced conference this year from top to bottom. There's a lot of really good teams. Um, and there's maybe not a, a, a great dominant team like there, we have had in the NSIC a few years that are top you know, five in the country or whatever it might be, but there's a lot of really good teams um, and a lot of teams that can beat anybody on any given night. Um, you know, I, think, I think we're one of those teams that can, if we play well, we can put ourselves in a good, a good spot. 
uh, to win a to win a game, um, and just trying to, like I said, just trying to keep getting better. Um, you know, we want to we want to keep playing basketball because we're having a lot of fun right now, and we we feel like we're playing well. So we'd like to play, uh, you know, five six more games, and, and right now we've got only two on our schedule plus then playoffs. So uh, got to play really well to, to to keep earning more basketball. What have you seen out of the development of Max Cody this year? Yeah, I think Max is really. Um, you know, he's really had a very solid year. He's really playing for the first time for big minutes. I think he, I think he put himself in a great position um, by his redshirt year when he didn't play and then by last year playing limited minutes, backing up an all-conference point guard um, in Luis. But I, he did a great job of learning every day, um, even when he wasn't necessarily on the court in game situations um, and trying to see – trying to think of how he was going to play when he got out there and he's a little bit different guard than than what Ricci was um, but he does a great job of running our team and you know he's got over two to one assist to turnover ratio he's among the conference leaders in assist to turnover he's in the, among the conference leaders in assists um, he's shooting over 50 percent from the floor um, and close to 80 percent from the line somewhere in that range 40 percent from three so he, he's just done a lot of really good things um, he's continuing to learn and continue to get better he really thinks the game well um, and thinks about how the other team is going to defend and how we need to attack that and who needs to get the ball in what spots um, in order to help them score. So he's really taking big steps forward in, in, in how he approaches the game mentally and, and really put that into action. So um, you know, definitely his, his ability to get better and to, um, to be a very steady uh, point guard for us has been a big key to, to our season and a key to our team getting better as the year has gone on. On some of your injuries from a few weeks ago, do you feel that you're close to full strength yet? Uh, well, we've you know we, we're getting more guys back. Um, you know, um, we've had David and Trevor and Dorian out at different times uh, this year, and um, you know uh, Dorian's back to getting closer to being full speed, and, and Trevor uh, is able to practice uh, yesterday for the first time in a few weeks. Um, so hopefully those guys are. Are closer uh, to getting, uh, you know, full speed reps and more normal minutes for us because we could use a little bit more depth. We've been playing mostly seven guys the last few weeks. Um, Alex has been hurt as well, and, and hopefully he'll continue to get to get better. Um, but a lot of guys, you know, Nibra's been playing a lot better for us lately and been giving us some big minutes when those guys are, are banged up. So it's um, if we can get everybody back and healthy, uh, we should have we should have some pretty good depth at that time and a lot more options. So um, you know, just. Um, you know, kind of a day-to-day -day thing to see see how guys are feeling, and and some of the other guys are banged up this time of year too, and um, just trying to trying to be sharp, but trying to practice uh, short and keep everybody healthy here, and hopefully keep everybody strong and keep those legs fresh down the stretch.